Yo, what is good YouTube? I'm Richie Kim, and today I'm gonna to be bringing you all the performance review on the New Balance Two-Way V4. Before we get started, if you all enjoy sneak content just like this, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below, and also hit that bell notification button so you never miss another video just like this. But anyways, let's get right into it. As always, starting off with the traction, the New Balance 2A V4 features a multi-directional traction pattern. Uh, you have herringbone and you have like this, what I wanna call like a, like a honeycomb traction pattern. And overall, the traction is actually pretty good. Um, whether you're playing on a clean court or a dusty court, you really won't have any issues. Um, on a clean court, you will have pretty good bite. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like a stop on a dime or anything like that, but the traction is still very, very solid. And honestly, on the dusty courts, you still get the same traction. Um, as far as the dust pickup goes, on those dusty courts, uh, it does pick up very minimal dust, but if you do accumulate any dust on here, a quick wipe and you should be good to go. Personally, I never experienced any issues of actually, you know, sliding out um, or really even sliding to a stop. I would say traction was pretty consistent across the board, across all the gyms that I play at. So yeah, you know, the traction was good and very consistent. I wouldn't say it is the best, like stop on a dime type of traction, but it is still very, very good. As far as the outsole durability, it should be pretty durable, but I wouldn't use these outdoors. Um, this herringbone part is actually, feels like a harder rubber than this like honeycomb part. And also like the grooves are also thinner over here. So when it comes to outdoor use, I do think that it will perform good, but I don't think that it'll hold up very well. So moving on to the cushion, the two-way V4 features, I believe fuel cell and fresh foam. And in terms of how it's actually set up in this shoe, I'm not very sure. But what I can tell you is that this is a very, very comfortable shoe. In the heel, you do have this thick chunk of foam and you do get, you know, a nice subtle bounce out of this and some decent impact protection. But because this is so high, uh, the court feel is very not great, at least in the heel. Um, as you move towards the forefoot, it does thin out and you do get more court feel than the heel but I would still say that this isn't the most responsive feeling shoe um, take that as you will me personally I do like a responsive setup but I also value that impact protection and in the forefoot you do get like a decent amount of both but definitely more on the more cushiony side rather than the responsive side um, so me personally, like I wish it was a little bit more responsive so I can feel, you know, more quick on my feet. But even then you do still feel pretty quick in here. So yeah, this is definitely uh, not as responsive cushion setup, uh, but still feels very, very good. Um, so if you all want, you know, something that's a little less responsive, but definitely still very, very comfortable, uh, this is definitely for you. Um, if you want something that feels very, very low to the ground, then this definitely is not it. So moving on to the materials, the two-way V4 features a pretty much entire mesh upper and it is a pretty thick mesh as well. It actually feels very, very good and very comfortable. Um, that entire mesh wraps up onto the uh, back half of the shoe, at least on the medial side. On the lateral side, you do have this like other type of mesh. In the very back, you have like this hit of synthetic suede, almost feels like a felt. And you all know how I feel about that felt material, but hey, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, you know, material usage on the shoe for the price, I honestly have no complaints. Um, you also have this fuse overlay up in the toe box area for where you do your heel drags or toe drags, I should say. And then as you move towards the tongue, you do have like this textile material with a decently padded tongue as well. So if you do like to crank down your laces, it does a good job of making sure that you don't feel those laces digging into your foot. Overall, from a material standpoint, I really do like the materials that they use on the shoe, both in terms of the performance and in terms of the quality. At this price point, I really can't complain. So moving on to the fit, I would say that the two-way V4 pretty much fits true to size. I'm a slightly wide footer and I went true to size. And I will say that as a slightly wide footer, it is a little narrow up in the forefoot area, especially about where the very first eyelet is. And it is a little bit painful at first, at least it was for me, and it does break in a little bit over time. Um, so if you wanna go through that break-in process, 
as a slightly wide footer, I would say go true to size. Um, if you're a narrow footer or normal footer, true to size is definitely your best bet. Um, but if you have anything wider than a slightly wide foot, I would recommend you all go up a half size or maybe even a whole size, depending on you know how wide your foot is because you're definitely gonna have a lot of pain in this forefoot area. It is very, very snug and it does uh, get a little bit painful um, but you know, as a slightly wide footer, it did break in eventually. Besides that, you do have a very snug fit in this shoe. Uh, the toe box is very snug. This shoe does feature a half booty upper, so it gets as close as possible to that one-to-one -one fit. The materials do lie very nicely on your foot, and the overall fit of the shoe is very snug-like. So yeah, overall, I do like the fit in the shoe. It is very, very good. Just be aware that if you have wide feet, you might want to go up a half size or even a whole size. So moving on to the support, I had absolutely zero support issues in the shoe. You do have an internal heel counter. I wouldn't say that this has the most sculpted heel area, but you do have some heel sculpting. And I personally didn't have any heel slippage in the shoe. Uh, when it comes to the side to side movement on the footbed, you are covered there as well. The materials do a great job of making sure that your foot isn't sliding around. And then on those lateral movements, you're going to be covered as well. Uh, this is a fairly wide base and this is definitely going to have you covered uh, just to make sure that you aren't rolling over on those movements. And then when it comes to the torsional rigidity and stability, this is a fairly stiff and rigid shoe. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a shank plate in here, but I'm assuming there is. And yeah, I mean, you're covered there as well. Uh, when it comes to the support in this shoe, it pretty much has like everything that you want. I wouldn't say this features anything too special or anything. So yeah, you know, it gets the job done uh, without being overly fancy. Overall support in the shoe was really good. So the two-way V4 retails for, I believe, 120 bucks. And for $120, I would say that this is a very solid performer. Overall, this is a very fun shoe to play in. The traction is good, the cushion is good. Um, it is more cushiony than responsive in my opinion. And I guess like load up the ground as well. Um, but yeah, you know, overall, I feel like a lot of people will enjoy the shoe and this can pretty much fit players um, one to five. So if you all are interested in picking up, you know, a, a great shoe for a great price, I would recommend you all to get one. Um, the 2-way V4 was a very good shoe to play in. Yeah, I mean, I, I really can't complain, you know, overall, it's a very solid shoe. That's pretty much it for this performance review. If you all like this video, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below. And also smash that thumbs up button for me as it really does help me out. While you all are at it, check out these videos over here. And that's pretty much it. Until next time. Peace.